Felix Kilberg, aka PewDiePie, has finally announced for real that the subscribe to PewDiePie movement is being retired. After nearly a year, PewDiePie has now asked that this battle was now over because of the fact that the New Zealand shooting trusted rented it. Hello, I wanted to talk seriously and honestly for a moment about my thoughts on what's been going on for the past couple months and hopefully you, you can get a better understanding of my perspective. I think it's time to end the subscribe to PewDiePie movement or me. It's something that started off as a way to keep me as the number one most subscribed channel on YouTube and seeing so many people come to my support, other creators as well, uh, has been incredibly humbling to me. It's really, really meant a lot. It's something I never thought I would experience and it's something I thought would last also for maybe just a couple of days or maybe a week, but here we are. It's been six to seven months now and it's been a crazy journey. At first, it started off with people doing really positive and fun things to get attention through subscribe to PewDiePie, but something I learned and I think hopefully it's something people can understand is when you have 90 million people riled up about something you're bound to get a few degenerates. And it started off with someone spray painting sub to PewDiePie on a World War II memorial. And just so disgusting, so disappointing to have my name and community uh, dragged into that. I uh, addressed it on Twitter, I disavowed it. We saw that it got removed and, and donated to the park. I hope that that was gonna be it. I didn't want hateful acts to overpower all these amazing things that people were doing, all these cool and positive things. But then something happened that I don't think anyone would have predicted. The Christchurch shooter said subscribe to PewDiePie. Out of the respect for the families and victims involved, I chose not to address it any further than on Twitter, where I disavowed the actions taken that day and I gave my sincerest condolences to everyone affected. To have my name associated with something so unspeakably vile has affected me in more ways than I let show. I just didn't want to address it right away, and I didn't want to give the terrorists any more attention. I didn't want to make it about me, because I, I don't think it has anything to do with me. To put it plainly, I didn't want hate to win, but it's clear to me now the sub subscribe to PewDiePie movement should have ended then. Lastly, my feelings around the subscribe to PewDiePie thing would not be complete without mentioning T-Series. Uh, I made two diss tracks that were made in fun, ironic jests. They were not meant to be taken seriously. And now High Court in India demands that they're going to be blocked and removed. This was all made to be fun, but it's clearly not fun anymore. It's clearly gone too far. And out of respect for that, I'm going to keep the videos blocked. On a similar note, some people and some media has made this sub to PewDiePie thing about race or about politics or nationality, and I don't agree with that at all, and I want that to stop. This negative rhetoric is something I don't agree with at all, and I want that to stop and to make it perfectly clear. No, I'm not racist. I don't support any form of racist comments or hate towards anyone. Finally, I don't want hitting 100 million subscribers to be about beating another channel. I think what we've accomplished is so much more than that. And I just want to say I feel incredibly lucky to have such an amazing group of people supporting me. I think I can say that because I know them better than anyone. I, unironically, I'm so proud of this community. And this movement started out of love and support, so let's end it with that. I hope that you understand my perspective and I ask you kindly to accept it. Thank you for listening. That's all. Bye. According to Wikipedia, in August 2018, PewDiePie posted a video titled This Channel Will Overtake PewDiePie, in which he jokingly rallied his fans against T Series. In October 5th, 2018, PewDiePie, in collaboration with Party in the Back, 
posted a diss track against T-Series titled Bitch Lasagna in a song he throws inserts tone towards T-Series and their video comments making a reference to com temporary Indian stereotypes and accused the company of sub bots to gain false descriptions. After he was asked about his serious opinions about the situation, he advised that I don't really care about the T series. I genuinely don't, but I think if YouTube does shift in a way where it does feel more appropriate, then something else will take its place. I think people enjoy this kind of shit so much. I think something else will just show up if it feels too corporate. He also blamed YouTubers for a lack of support toward individual YouTubers. Speaking to Netron, no one in 2018, he probably said that he was surprised no one has stepped up sooner, referring to T-Series competing for the most subscribed spot. In December 2018, as the gap between the numbers of subscribers rapidly shrank, multiple high profile YouTubers posted videos supporting him. King Pai made a video the next day calling for his viewership support being the non governmental organization Calabrites and You. In response to some of his hands, anti Indian cement. He raised. 173,682,000 euros, including a donation by my partner, Marcus Harrison, and also a charity price stream the next day. On February 3rd, 2019, live livestreamed himself playing Fortnite on YouTube, tried to end stop T Series from surpassing him. A week later, Kingpie did another live stream in an attempt to stay out of T Series this time playing Roblox. His account was then deleted by Roblox, reportedly because of his past behavior. Kingpie's account was restored the next day, and Roblox said that he was incorrectly banned. On February 17, 2019, Kingpie did a third live stream of himself playing mini games in Minecraft in another attempt to stay ahead of T Series. On March 27th, 2019, G Series surpassed PewDiePie. Following this, PewDiePie announced through both Twitter and YouTube that the winner of this competition would be whoever reached 1 million subscribers first. On March 31st, 2019, PewDiePie posted another disc track, an upbeat synth pop hip hop music video with YouTubers Rumi, Boy in the Band, and Mr. Beast titled Congratulations which sarcastically will graduate T-Series for surpassing him. In a music video, King Kai mocked the topic of how T-Series sent him to cease and desist like alleging that his actions and lyrics of Bitch Lasagna were inflammatory. The video also criticized T-Series for alleged tax investigation and the fact that the company was founded through selling of pirated songs. The video noted by the songman Tone thanks his fans for sticking with him through his YouTube career and references past notable videos. Following Kingpie's upload of the song, he regained the number one spot. In September 2018, T-Series president and head of its digital di 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 division, Nigeria Kalingan said it's a matter of pride for all Indians that an Indian YouTube channel would soon be the world's biggest channel on YouTube. He also responded to PewDiePie fans by stating that no amount of spending will be able to hold back the power of good music. Kawaiian further added 
that the channel's overseas viewership has increased as a result of the subscriber race, stating that people in the West or in the East, as far as Japan, were not even aware of us. They now know about us because of, of all of that controversy. T-Series Chairman and Managing Director Boshan Kumar, son of the late founder Gushan Kumar, told the BBC in December 2018 that he had previously never heard of Game Pie until a few months ago. Gushan Kumar said he's really not bothered about this race and all up with I don't even know why Game Pie is taking this so seriously, he added that they are not competing with him. In February 2019, Kumar was reported by the Washington Post to have said that everybody knows T-Series around the world now. If we had become number one on our own, nobody would have known about us. On March 6, 2019, Kumar tweeted that the T-Series is on the brink of becoming the world's biggest YouTube channel. We can make history. We can make India win. So decide to T-Series, hosting a video encouraging fans to subscribe to T-Series channel. In the video, he stated that this is a historic movement for all of us. So let's come together and subscribe to T-Series. Says YouTube channel and make India proud. Pinkai responded by saying that T Series is getting desperate. In September 2018, the YouTube channel TV started a popular live streaming showing the live subscriber counts of both channels as well as the subscriber difference between the two channels. In October 2018, social media statics and analytics website Social Blade started a live stream showing similar information while including more in-depth statistics such as average subscribers per minute for both counts. Despite the subscribe to Define Me and Game, where TV said that they have been live streaming Game Boy vs. T Series for the main started and said their live stream will continue to exist until 100 million subscribers is reached. This battle was a huge, huge mistake. It should not have happened in the first place. Even if it did happen in the first place, Beauty Pie at least should have ended that battle in December 2018. Nobody should have to go through this for at least one year to actually gain all subscribers. That's not what YouTube is about, and there has been. YouTube was never about battling another company that doesn't really have time to battle a childish YouTuber who seems to be on his own fan side instead of taking responsibility for his actions in the first place and said that he will not be doing that meme slash movement anymore. Okay? That battle caused so much harm already. It wasn't good. And now that King Pai finally said that it was over, it was oh, supposed to be over way long to be with to begin with and not have to at least at least continue with all the fun. If you want to continue with all the fun, just don't make it so boring for a year. Just do it two months. Two months, that's it. That's all you can use that movement slash meme for. Other than that, don't make this Subscribe to Kitty Fight Battle thing 
over break, over, overdone dry, okay? Don't make it do that ever again. I'm glad that we can all now finally go back to the way things were. Watch and watch other creators' videos and not worry about what the company is doing. Okay? We're all here to watch other creators, not complain about how companies are taking over the platform. Who cares? Move forward. It's reality, people. Just move forward.